Hello and welcome to the V tutorial. We're about to cover the basic of the V editor. The V editor is a little bit confusing in the beginning, but we're going to make things clear here. Simply to start the V editor, we just type the VI command and then we press return. This brings up the V editor and this is how it looks like. Now, by default, it has been starting in uh, command mode. So we cannot insert text without telling the V that we want to insert text by entering the insert mode. Now I just want to quit the editor directly. So I make colon and Q and press return. Here is the command mode I'm speaking about. Okay, this was quitting the editor. A simple way to begin to edit a new file is to make VI space and the file name. Here I make a completely new file, my text file. If the file would exist, it would open it instead, but now it doesn't exist, so it prepare a buffer for this file. I press return. We are back in the V editor and still in command mode. We would like to insert our first text line. To enter the insert mode, press the key I. I press the I key and I add my new text line. And we make a space, uh, I mean we make a return here. And here I make a return and I write the new line. Just like any editor. Now I would like to write to this file. We need to go back to the command mode and this is done by pressing the escape key. Escape key goes always back to command mode in the V editor. I press escape and I make a colon W that means write and then uh, if I press now I will only write the file and we will still be in the V editor. If I would like to quit also, I simply add a Q directly after the write command and I press the return key. We were writing two lines in this file. Okay, I clear the screen not to confuse with the old material. Now we have a clear screen. Now I open the VI editor again and I add my file here. Since we were saving this file, and I open it, we can see that our changes are still there. So, let's say that I would like to delete. If I would like to delete, you just move around where you want to delete what character and you stand right on it with the cursor. Notice we are still in the command mode, we are not in insert. Now press the X key to delete a character, I press X. I press X again, X again, X again, X again, and I continue till I deleted what I want to delete. Okay, that's one way to delete characters. If we would like to delete a whole line, there's a different command. Let's say I would like to delete the first line. I go up to that one, and then I press the D button twice. So D, D, and it was removing the entire line. Let's say I would like to undo that change. I press the U key and it was going back to us. And since we made changes to the file, a common thing that might be a problem for beginners is that, hey, I would like to quit and I would not like to save this file. Let's try. I press escape to be sure that I'm in command mode. I make a colon and I press the Q the command for quitting. And here it says file modified since last complete write. And we need to put an exclamation mark to overwrite. And it's if I would like to write an overwrite. But let's say I want to quit and I would not like to save. I make colon Q and I would like to force quit without saving. Then simply add exclamation mark like this. This is the quit command, but it forced the program to quit. That's a big difference. I press the return key and we were exiting V without saving. 
I go back by opening the file in the v-editor. Let's say that I would like to write, uh, I don't have this file write protected, but if it would be, you would not be able to save in a normal way. But if you would like to save and it's write protected, you make a colon, W as write, and then exclamation mark to force write. And also, if you would like to quit, it's the same like the write quit command, colon, W, quit, and then an exclamation mark. Let's say that we want to write and quit with this command. You just do like this and press return. Okay, we've been writing this file. Now to take a more realistic example of, I would like to use the v-editor to edit a file that already exists, such as the rc.conf configuration file. vi space the path to the file and the file name. Enter. And I open the file. It's very common when you work with configuration files that you want to insert text right under a line or right over a line also, above also and below. Just move the cursor. We are still in command mode. We just started V. To be able to add text directly under this line, there is a command. Instead of the I key, you have the O key. This opens a new line. So O, and we just open a new line right under that one. So that's very simple. I press escape now, go back to command mode. Let's say I would like to make the opposite. I would like to open a new line, but over instead of under. Make shift O, like a big caption O, and we open a new line over the line we are standing on. Okay, I would like to write and I would like to quit. Escape, colon, W, and Q, write quit. It functioned because the file was not write protected. If it would be, you'd simply added an exclamation mark right after.